All right, folks, Dirky here on what is happening? Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm and welcome back to the ZTA playthrough. So it looks like we have Lando on Thrall today and we're playing on the Braxis holdout. So let's take a quick look at the team, shall we? So in my team we have Thrall, Garrosh, the Lost Vikings, Cassia and Diva. And on the enemy team we have Greymane, Nova, Nazebo, Telfasad and Baryan. So guys, at level 1 we will pick up Echo of the Elements. This is a quest talent once we kill 20 minions. With our chain lightning, we will gain two stacks, which gives us good synergy with our frost resilience. So, guys, Thrall is a solo laner, and he is a fantastic solo laner thanks to the his trait frost resilient and his chain lightning that gives us poke damage. But since this is quick match and nobody knows that Thrall is a solo laner, we're not going to be able to show us off in today's video today. Actually, every game I've actually played today as Thrall has not worked out that I have been a solo laner because the team just doesn't know. So we're just going to do a bit of damage to the enemy Nova. So like I said, what makes Thrall a great solo laner is his Frost Rose Resilience. Every time we deal ability damage, it gives us one stack. And after five stacks, it'll heal us by 232. But this stacks with our level. It you know, gets higher with each level. I forget the word. Sort of concentrating here. So we're going to go down to the bottom. See if we can get a root rolled off there, Nova. There we go. So we're going to go down here and help out the Vikings. He looks to be suffering. He should ask for assistance if he is suffering. Looks like he loses one, but every time one dies, I don't care because there's still another two in the map. So we're going to sneak in behind here, see if we can pick up the kill on Kel Facade. Give me that. Beautiful. There you go. So we have no stacks at the minute. We want to get stacked up as quick. Give me that there. Yep. Yeah, there's one. Thank you. Bit of lag there. Just want to engage there a bit. Give me that. Ah, yes, there we go. On that one, there's two. Take that regen globe. We're going to go down and get the other regen globe here as well. So we're going to go in here and get this. Oh, I said it a second time. Come on, pay attention, Dirty. It's so hard. Oh, we're stuck on the wall. We're going to get rooted. We need to get out of there. If he gets a charge off, we're dead. Nice, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing, Kel'Thuzad, you goat? I mean, stacks. Let's move away from the Zebo there. We were going to get walled. Give us a better heal in there. As you can see, Frostwell Resilience heals us. So you want to keep an eye on your Frostwell Resilience when you're playing through all. Looks like the enemy to pick up both there. There's not much we can really do about that, unfortunately. We're just going to have to head back here. There's not much we can do here with this amount of health and XP. The enemy do have a better comp for this. The Lost Vikings wouldn't really be the greatest in this map unless they picked up Bribe. And did they? No, they didn't. So, at level 4, guys, we'll pick up Mana Tide. So, our Frost Fist Resilience. What's that do again? Sorry, I forget. It restores mana every time we use our get five stacks and it lowers our basic ability cooldowns. So let's say we do pick up the top one, that's good. The enemy only got a slight got the bar slightly filled up there. We're just gonna go in here and pick this one up too. Don't know what the lost things are doing there. Looks like we're gonna lose the top. We're probably gonna lose Cassia as well. She looks like to be out of position. We're gonna go down here and get some stacks. Come here. Yes. Looks like we do get these ones. Nice. Ah, oh, he could see me there. The wee fart bane. We're going to go down here and try and get some more stocks. Give me that one. Yep. As you can see, it's quite hard to stack us up. We have 12 stacks at the minute. Ah, come on, Turkey Land, them bloody wolves. Thrall's root is actually quite hard to land. You have to practice that, like. We need to get in there and get them to root it. Just want to dance around them here. Look at that. Beautiful. We need to move out on the Zebo's wall. Ah, come on. Yes, we landed it. <laughs> right, let's move away from Varian. If he gets a charge off on me, we're dead. No! <laughs> quick match is crap. I hate playing quick match, guys. You know, you never get a support like, and a support would have been great there. It's just so full of people that don't know how to play the game or just like to get killed. So at level seven, guys, we will pick up follow through. 
This is just, you know what I mean, after ability you get 40% additional damage, so this is where the Echo of Elements comes in good as well, because it gives us energy so we can get two follow throughs off. Nice coming right there from Garrosh, but nobody was there to follow up, unfortunately. He just about dodges that wall, so we see the Vikings in there picking up one, looks like we are going to get this first objective. This is a very snowball map. What are you doing, son? Beautiful. Give me that. As you can see now, we can stagger a bit quicker. A bit quicker now that we have follow through. So we're going to head up to the top lane. The Vikings should be able to sort that out. That's a very, very small Zerg wave pushing. So you can see, far of Barthol. As you can see, Thrall is quite a powerful hero, even after his rework. Now, they did. He isn't as beefy as he what they used to be, and he does not heal for as much. But as you can see, he still is really, really strong pick. Oh, we landed that. Nice. Beautiful. There we go. We want to attract some minions here. We're at 14 stacks. We need six more. We need to kill six more minions. Ah, we just missed the root there. Too slow. Too busy talking. Diva. Man, I hate playing against Diva. Oh. Beautiful. So you always want to sort of stutter step in front of the hero so you can get all your auto attacks off. Oh, watch the blight. Come here. So we will pick up Sunder in here, level 10. Guys, this is just a straightforward stun, as you can see there. Little sh whatever side. So if the hero are on this side or the right side, that's what way they'll shoot. And that's where the enemy heroes will end up. So you want to hit them at the left side if you want to hit them to the left. And you want to hit them to the right side of it. Oh, send them flying to the right if you know what I mean. So a wee come here could be good. Keep their pressure in the bottom lane. What's going on up here? They are taking the top siege camp. I don't disagree with that. Garrosh is playing a bit dangerous Larry, dangerously. He might get away with it. Oh, and he does. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. He still got the camp. We still only got 14 stacks here. Don't kill that wave, you mother frigger. There we go. We got another two. We're now at 16. Let's see if we can help the enemy there. Ah. What a waste of an ultimate. Oh, we're trapped in the wall. If he gets a dive on me. There we go. We're going to tap the well here. That was a bit messy. Man, I've got a cool sword. Look at that. That's like a form of herpes. We want to attack some minions. Give me that on that one. Nice ultimate coming out there from Nova. What a waste. Don't waste your ultimates, guys. So we have only one more to get. Looks like said we lost a Viking, but I don't care because there's still two here with us. So this bruiser camp is pushing in the bottom lane. We might be able to take a keep here, but I don't know. There's no one really looking to defend it. Ah, oh, there was a stack there. We won it. So we're eight minutes in the game. You should have this completed pretty early on in the game, well before eight minutes. But we weren't able to solo lane there because the Vikings thought he should be solo laning. And usually you would get it if you were solo laning. You know, you would push the enemy hero out of the lane and then get your stacks up. Right, we're definitely getting it completed here. There we go, finally. Oh, we're dead. Get a hill rolling off there. Get another one rolling off. Can we survive this? No. Garrosh would play a wee bit ropey there. He went in there and just sacrifice himself for the objective you don't want to be doing that but we did get the most of it there as you can see let's take a quick look at the talents why we were potato bread oh he did go taunt nice nova got bribe <coughs> pardon me not long after breakfast there go for the throat Cassia is dead so it looks like the enemy are going to be picking up this objective we need to get to the top lane I can only see Varian there so we will pick up Grace of Air here, guys, at level 13. This gets us double Frost Rose, frost rose 
This will give us double frost wolf resilience whenever we use our wind fury. Is he gonna kill me? He friggin' is. If he gets a charge. There we go. We're just gonna head back here. <laughs> that was ropey. Foreign can do quite a bit of damage. We're about to lose all the Vikings here. We're gonna head down to the bottom lane and see if we can help out. They have the top one secure. I haven't actually played Thrall in a long time ever since his rework. Every time they change the hero I always feel a bit weird about replaying them. I'll take that. There we go, this objective is ours and it is going to be pushing in in the bottom lane. We've just seen Nova there. So like I said, I haven't played Thrall in a long, long time. I switched to Sonya and Alarak for my solo laners with Thrall. Starting to actually get into his playstyle again and starting to enjoy him, but that's just what lack of practice does. They used to be an absolute boss as Thrall. So we have a full Zerg wave pushing in here in the bottom lane. The enemy have very, very little. I don't know why there's two up top. That The towers can literally just get rid of them. We want to wait for a tank here. Looks like we lost the Vikings. We just want to do a bit of poke here. We don't want to get caught out by the taunt. Let's get in among the wave. Force the enemy to fight in amongst it. David, what a waste. Come on, die. Yes, there we go. Let's walk out a lot. He is chasing me. Let's get a hill rolling off. That's what you want to do is throw kite him. And then he'll... Looks like beautiful flip coming over there from Garrosh. Can't remember what you call that. So we will pick up Tempest Fury here. Level 16, r Fury. Final attack strikes three times. Beautiful. So we now have two current stacks of Frostwood Resilience. Let's get healed up here. There we go. So I think they did reduce the healing in the last patch in his rework. Though he's still an absolute boss. This is possibly GG here. No, I don't think it is. Grey Man's up. That's the most of their damage. We still need to be careful here. We're only four. Let's get a hit rolling out for myself. Wait for Garrosh to throw somebody over. We see if we can get a root. Nice. Beautiful. Flip coming out from Garrosh. Oh, he froze me. <laughs> oh, we're token core. Oh, throw! Ah, what a waste of an ultimate. Let's walk away from him. Don't want to trade into him whenever he's... We might as well end the game here, guys. See, like I said, this map is very, very snowball-y. Like, if you're not getting the first two objectives, you're obviously going to lose. Unless you have the right team comp. The enemy did have a pretty strong team comp here. Greymian and Varian are pretty good heroes. Though Nova isn't. She did play pretty well. And us having the Vikings, I don't know how we... Let's just finish this off. Get our follow through rolling out. There you go. So level 20 guys, we were probably picked up blank there with our Sundern, so whenever you use your... I didn't get to show it off because the, the game didn't last that long. So whenever you use your Sundern, you shoot them to one side, and then you blink to them and you use your follow through as, an, as your first basic attack. The Sundern's going to give you a follow through and then, you're, then you want to root them and just pile in them as, as you can see. But I didn't get to show as as I say. Bleh, I don't know how to talk. Because I didn't get to show it off because we didn't get to level 20, but that's the way I like to play through all in a solo queue. So guys, we'll go over the talents here very quickly. Thrall is a solo laner, but I didn't get to show it off because we did have a Vikings and he thought he should solo lane. And I don't, we probably should have, who knows? I don't play the Vikings, not my style of play. So level one, we picked up Echo of the Elements. Echo of the Elements. This gives us more sustain in team fights because we can get two chain lightnings off, which gives us frost with resilience. The then we picked up Mana Tide just to get our mana back. The other two are quite hard to, to land, really. The other one requires you to land your your root constantly and if you miss it you lose your stacks and the thralls without plenty of practice as thrall it's really hard to land your root 
Then we picked up follow through for the extra damage. Sundern for synergy with follow through for a defensive and an offensive ability. We picked up Grace of Air here so we can get more stacks of Frostworth resilience, giving us more healing. And then we picked up Tempest Fury for more damage three times at the end of our Wind Fury. And then we would have picked up Blink so we could blink into our Sunder to target and get a follow up follow through basic attack off so guys hope you're all enjoying the z2a playthrough and hope you all enjoyed the thrall video remember guys if you want to stay up to date with the z2a playthrough subscribe to the channel if you want to see sorry if you if you like this video give it a thumbs up until next time guys Take care. At level 1. So level 4 guys, we'll pick up Untouchable. Now this is a dodgy quest we're picking up. You need to play very well as Tracer to get the best out of this. And try not to die. And you shouldn't really die if you're a good player at Heroes of the Storm. Because Tracer is unkillable if you play her well. So Nova should be able to take that up in the top lane. We see Samuro there. Which one is the real one we're on him. As you can see there, we can just stick to him until he goes invisible. Look at that. That is beautiful. He is dead. Beautiful. There we go. So we're just going straight on the Zebo here. As you can see,